The project that we have here is a butterfly garden and a monarch way station. And the idea really was to have this be a science lab, if you will, um, something that kids in every, every uh, from years to come, that uh, they could just come and they could just view the life cycle of butterflies and get really involved and engaged in, in nature and in science. I've got to tell you that, um, as, as almost any parent knows or, or any adult, it is very hard to get the buy-in of a total class. I mean, anybody can teach the life cycle of a butterfly, but who lives it? Absolutely. And you guys live it. Behind us is a completely desolate field, and that is what this looked like just a few short months ago. If you were to look from a helicopter above or from the roof of the school, you'd see that um, the thorax, which is the tunnel back there, will actually, in the next couple of years, hopefully, will be covered in vines and will actually be a, a really cool tunnel. And it, it really brought a whole 3D uh, three-dimensional aspect to it. If you look at the bricks, you can see that they're designed so that there's the students' names engraved and a thank you for all the parents who helped, helped us build this. And you have the pergolas, uh, and underneath the pergolas are four wings. So the walkways are covered in like a, a natural wood color, and then the wings have a red color. So when you look at the actual uh, garden from above, it looks like a butterfly. Rio, tell me why we're sitting here. What is this? It's a waste station. This is a place where the caterpillars, for the caterpillars, it's got the milkweeds, and the milkweed is what the caterpillars eat. Now, when they eat, there's a special word for it when they're eating. What's gorging. That? Gorging. Tell me a little bit about why this garden is so important. Because so the butterflies don't come extinct, so we build a monarch waste station and a garden so the butterflies can stay alive. Do butterflies fly a long distance? Yes. Tell me about that. Um, they migrate all around the world. Do you know the life cycle of a butterfly that you could maybe help me with? Well, it starts off with an egg, and then a caterpillar comes out of it and make a chrysalis on a plant, or they climb on the big enclosure and make it on top. And then they come out and turn into a butterfly. I thought it was a really good idea. I knew that it was something that kids would really enjoy doing. No idea it was going to be as extensive as this. Um, I think it came out a lot grander than I had originally envisioned. But it's a really cool idea, and um, Rhea loved it. The amount of things she learned out of it is, is phenomenal. It seemed like a really fun thing to do. And actually, like, get something done besides play and watch TV. This type of project just lends itself so easily to every subject area, uh, English, language, writing, speaking. And the kids, every day they came to class, they saw something different. They saw caterpillars getting bigger. They saw a chrysalis form. They saw a butterfly being born. It just makes it so easy to engage the students in, in the academics. And then on top of that, they get the hands-on approach of touching the caterpillars and building a garden and digging. And they've got to really work together to design a garden. And I think that, I think, is, is the beauty of what we do here at Project Based Learning. It's I think would be the, the, the essence of what we do here. You know what we're going to do? We're going to let we're going to release that butterfly. What do you think? You think it's old enough to release that? Yeah. Okay. Here we go. One, two, three. Butterfly. Butterfly. Woo!